Hi everybody! So today is going to be part two of the HTML and CSS tutorial. And in this video, we're going to be adding subpages to our website and then hyperlinks um, and also some Im images. If you haven't seen part one, I would definitely go back and watch that first before watching this video. Okay, so last time we left off with a website it says Miss Tan's Restaurant, has a menu, and then um, there's four items on the menu. So now we're going to take this first line, French fries, and we're going to turn that into a hyperlink. So before we link it to anything, we need to link it to a page, and we haven't created that page yet. So the first thing you're going to do is click on Add File up here. And then we're going to add a sub page. So let's call it French fries dot HTML. Make sure that you include the dot HTML, the file extension, because if you do not, then Repl.it or any IDE is not going to know what file this is, what file type this is. So when you type in HTML code, it's just going to look at it as plain text. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be lazy and I'm just going to copy and paste my code from index.html right into here. Okay, so now I'm going to change a little bit of it, but in the very beginning I'm not going to change much. So in the header tag, I'm going to keep my metadata the same, the title, you can call this. French fries sub page. Um, and then our CSS, so our style.css, let's reference the same style.css as we did for our index page. You may want to change that when you're doing your own if you want different colors and fonts in your sub page. Otherwise, you can keep it the same. Okay. And then in the body of the website, I'm going to delete. Um, the H2 tag, so open and close, I'm going to delete all that. And I'm also going to delete the P, the paragraph tag. So make sure you delete the open part of the tag and the close part of the tag so you don't get errors. Okay, and the only thing I'm going to keep is just the H1 tag, but instead of Miss Tan's Restaurant, I'm just going to write French fries. I'm going to put a break, so a new line, and then I'm going to say... Uh, $2. Now later I'm going to add an image to this too, um, but for now let's just keep it simple and I'll show you how to make a link to this page. Okay, so you can run this but it's not going to do anything yet. Um, but if you go back to index, the way we can view our sub page is by creating a hyperlink tag. So in order to make a link tag, what you're going to do is you're going to the link tag. So the link tag is open pointed bracket A. I'm going to close that tag for now. So I'm going to just, um, and instead of just having A and then like after french fries, have it close the tag. So A slash and then close tag. And then it would say french fries, right? So if I ran that, nothing is going to happen. And that's because Inside this tag, this link tag, just putting an A there tells you you want a hyperlink, but it doesn't tell you that um, what file you want to link it to. Okay, so after A, inside that tag, you need a variable called href. And we're going to say that href is going to be equal to the string, so open quote, French fries dot html if we don't reference an actual web page there then it's not going to bring us anywhere all right and then you're going to click on that and it brought us to french fries dot html cool so now if i run this again it's going to bring us right back to miss tan's restaurant okay so now it would be nice if we clicked on french fries it would bring us to french fries but then it wouldn't be nice to go back to the index page if we wanted to right so there should be some kind of back button there 
Um, so let's go back to the French fries.html. And I'm going to add a hyperlink in here so that, uh, let's do PR. So that we can go back and actually instead of putting this in h1 let's put it make it in like a paragraph underneath there so that it's not as big of a font uh, so let's open up paragraph and close the paragraph Okay, and then in here, let's throw another hyperlink. So I'm going to be lazy again, and I'm going to just straight up copy and paste what we had here. I'm just going to throw it into here. But instead of French fries.html, now I'm going to go back to index.html. And instead of saying French fries, I want to say something like back to home page. Okay, now when I run this and I click on French fries again, then over here it allows me to go back to the home page and I can go back to the home page and back and forth and that's how the links work. Okay, next thing I want to do in the French fries.html is after the $2, so right in here, I want to throw in an image tag. So images in HTML work a little bit differently than, than a lot of other tags because everything that you put in an image tag is just inside that tag and then there's no close tag. So it's going to start with open pointed bracket and IMG and that tells you that you want an image tag um, and then you might as well just close that now because you're going to have to um, at some point. And then you're going to use two variables. So the first one is going to be SRC. So SRC just means source. Um, and that just means, okay, I want to reference a specific image. Now, wait a second. We don't have a specific image. Oh, no. What are we going to do? I need an image of French fries. Hmm. If I only had some way to search, let's use Google. So let's just do French fries and click on images. I'm just going to pick this picture. I'm going to right click and then I'm going to say save image as. And then I'm just going to save it to my downloads just to be um, quick. And I'm going to call it French fries.jpg. Perfect. Click save. Okay, so if your computer doesn't show you what your downloads are right in this um, bottom bar, that's fine. You can always just click on um, upload in Repl.it. But the easiest way is if your computer does this, then you can just take frenchfries.jpg and just drag it straight into here. Okay, otherwise you would have to go to add file. Nope, sorry. Upload file. And then you go to downloads. And then if you sort by date, then hopefully it would be the first one that comes up. But anyway, so we already have that in there. Um, so now if we go back to uh, SRC, my image name is going to be French fries. JPG. Okay. And then the second thing that you're going to want to add is an alt variable. And what that does is if the image doesn't show up, then um, it's going to just put like a little text there to say what the image was supposed to be. Um, and I'm just going to say image of French fries. Um, another good thing about the alt variable is that if someone is blind and they're viewing your or they're they're on your web page, 
Um, then if they're using text to speech, they can just hover over the, the picture and it'll tell them what the actual image is of, even if they can't see it. All right, so let's run this. So when you click here, oh no, my fries are way too big. So how are we going to change the size of this image? You might get to here and you might be like, I have no idea, what should I do? So go into the HTML links. Um, I would click on images, so HTML images. And then there's got to be a way to resize an image here, right? Um, so let's look. Maybe we can even do a control F. Okay. So use the HTML width and height attributes to define the size of the image. So we can just change the width by typing it in directly to the tag. So over here, say alt equals whatever. Then we could also say width equals. And let's try 100. Let's see what that does. Click on french fries. Oh, that's too tiny. All right. So let's make it like 300. Now, if you change the width but not the height, then what happens is it's just going to scale everything um, if you don't give it a specific height. Now, if you give it a width and a height, then it might look a little bit different because maybe the height and the width aren't in the correct aspect ratio. So the easiest thing to do is just change either the width or the height and it'll scale perfectly. All right, so now what you're going to do for your assignment is you are going to make three of these sub pages, at least three sub pages. And then in your index, you should link them to the sub pages. You should also have a back button that links you back to the index page. And that's it. Have fun.